It was one of the most sensational crime dramas of the 20th century, but it didn't end when jurors found Pencil Factory Superintendent Leo Frank guilty of raping and killing 13-year-old Mary Fagan. In the two years that followed, long-held resentments boiled over, culminating in the lynching of Frank on August 17, 1915. It's right here. The anti-Semitism may have been the thing that was building up, but they didn't care for him because he's a Yankee from the North and he'd gone to an Ivy League school. Yeah. He's an educated guy. But to, you know, to be fair to the South, this little girl, Mary Fagan, worked 10 hours a day for 10 cents an hour. And that was difficult for Southerners to comprehend that they had to send their little girls to work in factories in order to support their families. And so naturally, there was a lot of feeling here in the South of resentment for Northern industrialists. And you still had veterans of the Civil War. Yes, who were, you know, right. And that was just, that one, that's, guess, that's correct, yeah. that's correct. Yeah, in fact, Mary Fagan was killed on Confederate Memorial right. Day. One of the uh, uh, un underscoring of the lynching, of course, is that it was carried out by the best and the brightest of Marietta, uh, governor of Georgia, several state senators, uh, people that, involved. yeah, and this was actually where Frank was lynched. This belonged to Sheriff Fry. He was actually the sheriff of Marietta. The tree was right here, and underneath the tree there was a table, and they put Frank on the table, they put the noose around his head, and then they kicked the table out from under him. Steve Oney, who is the uh, recognized expert in this case, actually calls it an act of state-sponsored terrorism. Yeah. The state, from all different levels, was in on the lynching of Leo Frank. And the day after the lynching, the New York Times reported, you know, there needs to be, people know who this was, and we need to uncover it. Uh, of course, they had an inquest after Leo Frank's lynching, and the coroner was one of the guys who had lynched Leo Frank. Right. So obviously, the inquest came back, you know, we don't know who did it. The guys who wrote the report were the guys who did it. It was the secret known all over the block. And I think one of the things that makes our service different on Sunday is that we're not only going to have the Jewish community, but we do have descendants of people who were Leo Frank lynchers. Their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren want to stand with us and the Jewish community as a way of, you know, giving their support.